Well, for more on this, we are now joined uh, by President of Labour Union, Bamao, Hannes uh, Dubuisson. Uh, thank you so very much, Hannes, uh, for joining us here on uh, SABC News, as always. Thank you. Uh, you've asked the court to return to uh, the consultation process and uh, properly consult on all outstanding issues, as in the SABC should uh, be doing this. Can you share with us what those outstanding issues that you're talking about are, Hannes, please? Well, first of all, the issue around the structure, we have not properly consulted on the structure. The SABC has only started to present its structure and we were not given an opportunity to um, question, except for one or two of the structures, to question the SABC on those uh, structures to understand that. Parties have not um, uh, uh, consulted on uh, selection criteria, um, we've not consulted on severance pay, we've not consulted on um, measures to avoid the dismissals, to change the timing of the dismissals. There's quite a number of issues that um, we've not consulted on with the SABC. The SABC consulted on its rationale and they decided to present its uh, um, structures and uh, shortly thereafter um, the SABC withdrew from this uh, consultation process and unlawfully so in our view. Now, there were those talks that uh, deadlocked uh, then uh, or failed of course to reach an agreement uh, uh, when you were at uh, the CCMA. Talk about what were the, uh, the snag issues really whereby uh, those uh, talks, facilitated talks were in fact uh, then not able to reach some sort of an agreement between uh, yourselves, the SABC and uh, those affected employees. <laughs> Well, well we, we didn't end up in a deadlock. Um, the truth is that the SABC slim, simply withdrew from that process. They refused to further meet and consult, and that is what they said. Both CCMA commissioners expressed their disappointment um, uh, with the SABC's conduct. They have said uh, on, on record officially so that we have made tremendous progress in the, in the last two sessions that we um, had under the auspices of the CCMA. So there's, there's no, there's not, there's no talk whatsoever of deadlocks or anything around that. Yeah. Um, we were quite surprised and shocked as parties because we thought that, um, similar to the uh, CCMA's observation, that we have made a, a lot of progress and uh, that uh, we, we are going to continue with the process. But uh, we were in uh, so many words told by the SABC COO that. Um, the termination uh, of the consultation process is there. They're not going to consult any further. A, a reason would have to have been given as to why uh, SABC refused to, to consult any further. I'm sure it wasn't just a sort of uh, statement, blanket statement, that we're not going to continue any further without any, any kind of reasons attached uh, to that. Uh, what are those reasons? And if there were no reasons, surely you can interject on, on, on that level. In, in about three meetings before that, um, the, we, we as the consulting parties on, on, on behalf of employees, we requested again the assistance from the CCMA. We had bilaterals with uh, the SABC on our insistence, uh, not on, 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 on request of the, CC, of the SABC. Mm. So we, we had the uh, facilitated meetings with the uh, CCMA. Um, under the auspices of the system, and then we had bilateral. So when there was a, a issue around the corporate plan of the SABC, um, we requested the, the CCMA, an urgent uh, meeting with the CCMA under its auspices as an intervention. Um, and, and what the issue really was, uh, we picked up in the corporate plan of the SABC that they have in fact, uh, short of, of about 99 or 100 employees, they have in fact reached the headcount reduction that they envisage in their corporate plan. So we, we had an argument whether that was a legal document or not. And initially the SABC said it wasn't a legal document. Later that stance changed and then they admitted it was a legal document. So, so there was unfortunately at that point in time, there was an observation made by one of the CCMA commissioners. And I'm talking about three meetings back to the ones that we had with the 
deadlock, not the deadlock where they withdrew actually from the from the consultation process, where the commissioner made a uh, remark where he said, well, you know, we are still where he left us with the previous meeting and what, what seems to be the problem. So the SABC then um, at that point in time was of the view that we are not making progress at all. But yeah. that has changed dramatically because when we removed the issue of the corporate plan, which we, by the way, reserved um, and we said that uh, we will reserve our rights in terms of that particular issue, um, we moved on and uh, we met the next Tuesday. We had made uh, uh, quite a lot of um, uh, progress and, and on the Friday where the S uh, SABC decided to withdraw from the process, um, we have made uh, a lot of progress in terms of its presentation of the structure. So there was absolutely no reason for the SABC on, on Friday to, with, uh, to withdraw from this particular process. Um, the reality, Hannes, is that of the 600 permanent workers who, of course, you're trying to fight for, that you don't want to see uh, retrenched, uh, you know, the reality is that you won't be able to help or save uh, all of them. It's, uh, it's, it's really unfortunate, but realistically speaking, ultimately, probably um, a majority of that 600 would probably be uh, uh, retrenched. Nobody's happy uh, with uh, retrenchment, but for you, what is the sort of fair process um, that you would want um, when, we re when the level of retrenchment actually does uh, get there? Because it, it might be that ultimately it has to, to, to happen. So obviously you'd have to then go from fighting that retrenchments don't happen to, of course, wanting fair retrenchments. And, and you know, it's never really fair if one can put it uh, that way. It's, it's kind of what it is. So what would you then be uh, fighting for that would be, um, in your sense, a justice um, for those who would then be getting uh, retrenched? Well, we don't agree with that uh, particular uh, statement that um, some people must go. Remember what the SABC said publicly is that they have a bloated management structure. Mm -hmm. In their new structure, they have increased uh, general managers in certain areas. Then in other structures, like in news, they have removed a whole layer of uh, general managers. Now, now, that, of course, is a centralization of power in our view, and that is not good for, the, for, for any organization to have that kind of uh, centralization of power and decision making. So we, we simply do not believe that, um, that there should be anyone that should lose their job at the SABC if really the SABC had a bloated structure and a top structure, then we would have not seen the SABC increasing on certain levels its general managers. When they were questioned about that, they said, well, this is what we need for our structure. Um, the same, they, they have put people um, exactly in the same manner on, on, in senior positions with no one reporting to them. Um, and they have complained about this previously publicly and um, to the portfolio committee to say that they have uh, these people though, who sit on management scale and no one's reporting to them. So we simply do not believe that the structure that is currently being proposed by the SABC is a fair structure. For instance, they are getting rid of permanent employees by outsourcing certain of its functions. Yeah. So the cost is not going to go away. Um, so so we, we really do not believe that uh, that there is a, a, a rationale for the retrenchments as such. We believe that um, in terms of a fair process, what we want to see is at least to have a fair opportunity to put our case to the SABC, to put um, the submissions that we uh, get from, from employees to the SABC and to discuss, debate and, and consult properly and meaningfully on those particular uh, uh, suggestions um, and our view and, and ideas. We are not being given that opportunity. And if we are uh, given that opportunity we, and, and the SABC is reasonable, we would be able to persuade them otherwise. But uh, the, the region, certain regions are being uh, um, closed down or they are merged with other, other regions and so on. It doesn't make sense at all to have those kind of uh, structures there should be in every region, for instance, a representative of news. Um, but, uh, you know, those are the kind of issues that we really want to sit around the table and discuss with the SABC and how to increase its revenue. Um, because then, you know, the, the, the cost about employment is going to look 
much uh, different than that. Um, and then, of course, the SABC is a public broadcaster broadcasting in 11 languages, which is vastly different from any other broadcaster in the world. Mm. And if you want to be simplistic about it, the SABC's employee cost should be 11 times more than any other organization in the world because that for each language and culture, there must be people that take care of that, that speak the language, that understand the culture. And to have people now in places and positions that would not be able to take care of those particular cultures um, and language is going to be at the disservice of the public and the community. All right, you raise a very good point uh, there, Hannes. Thank you for giving us your time. Uh, we certainly do appreciate it here at uh, SABC News. That's uh, Bamau, uh, Bamau's Hannes uh, Du Boisson, president of uh, the Labour Union. They were, of course, fighting uh, the issue of retrenchments where 600 permanent uh, workers are facing uh, the issue of uh, retrenchments.